Hey guys, I hope your holidays were absolutely fantastic. I'm actually filming this video before New Year's Eve because I won't be around to post it. So uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how I like to get ready for the New Year's. Ever since I was a little girl, my mother always used to tell my sisters and I that the way you enter into the new year is a reflection of how your future year is going to be. So in other words, you cannot start your new year's unprepared. Here's a list of things that I must do in order to start my new year. My first thing that I have to do before the new year's comes, and this is probably the most important one for me, and this is why I'm putting it first, um, is that I have to have a clean house. This is important. I believe in the Chinese Lunar Year, New Year, they also do the same thing. But I don't know. My mother always just told us your house has to be clean. If you have a messy room, a dirty bathroom, um, you know, messy kitchen, that is a reflection of how your year is going to be. So, for example, if your room is dirty, you're always going to be um, disorganized at work, at school, whatever, because you're constantly, you can't find the things when you're getting ready. You don't present yourself properly because everything's always a mess. So you're going to, in turn, look a mess. Um, another thing is if the kitchen isn't clean, you haven't cleaned the counters, the stove, things like that, that's a sign of, you know, not eating healthy and maybe uh, making poor choices in the future about what you're going to eat and, you know, possibly not sticking to your diet. Everything basically has a symbol to it, like it kind of comes back it all depends on how you kind of translate it. And to me, um, cleaning my house means that I'm going to be um, basically emptying my life from anything that's kind of negative. I like to start room by room. So I'll work my way all the way from, say, this room here, my closet. And I will go through all of my clothing and actually purge some of the items. So things that I no longer want, I put off to the side and I will either donate it or give it to my sisters if they like it. Um, just to get rid of things that, you know, maybe there are things that I used to wear at one point and now I look back at it and I'm like, mm, that's kind of not my age and not my style anymore and it was cool back then, but it's probably not cool anymore. Um, so I like to get rid of things like that. I also will literally vacuum every inch of the house. Like I will remove the top of the vacuum and just like the little piece, like the handheld part, I will go across every single baseboard, um, all the trim, around all the doors and corners of every room. I go into every drawer, I'll open every single drawer in my bathroom, in my closet. Um, I literally will like vacuum up everything. And then of course there's things like your bathroom, your kitchen, you wanna make sure your makeup counter is clean, um, your kitchen is clean. Basically I just wanna be able to walk into my house on January 1st and just breathe a sigh of relief and know that I don't have to clean anything today. I walked in, the last thing on my mind is a dirty house, you know. If you had guests over the night before, it's kinda of different, but even if you, clean the rest of the house and not the areas where you're entertaining because that's obviously a given you're gonna have to do cleanup after um still makes you feel good inside and the fact that if you do have people over at least you're celebrating and that's a sign of like welcoming friends and having people in your life so it's also a good fortune like i just look at things and i translate them into what i think they mean i know this one probably only applies to me because i'm kind of ocd and crazy like this but Taking out the trash is the most important thing to me because anything I've now purged, whether it's in my closet, the refrigerator, um, the cabinets, if something is in the garbage, it needs to be taken out. Like I don't even want it sitting outside in the area that we keep the garbage can in the recycling bin because to me that just means I'm keeping things, I'm letting it linger. I literally will throw everything out. Our garbage comes every Thursday, so I try to plan it so that we have meals made and I've peeled the vegetables and everything and all the peels even have been gone and placed in the garbage and out for Thursday morning for the trash to come get it. Um, I'm that psycho. Um, the idea of anything that has an expiration date that's coming close, um, I will throw it away. I, that's like a huge no-no to me to have something that's going to go bad and turn to the new year with me. And I know that's kind of like a mental like thing where, you know, you don't really have to throw away something, but I'll notice that the bread's about to expire in like two days and I'm like, well, the meals that I prepared for the next three days have nothing to do with bread. I toss it out. Basically the symbolism is still there. If it's garbage, I don't want it entering into the new year with me. So I throw everything out and make sure it is out of my life, no longer sitting in the house. I just want to leave it all behind. I'm sure I'm not the only one that kind of hibernates during the winter. And by hibernate, I mean, you kind of let your hairs grow out, whether it's on your arms, your legs, your upper lip, wherever. Um, we get a little lazy because we're like, oh, but it's so cold out and I don't feel like doing anything. No one's gonna see my legs anyways. So you kind of put it off and put it off and put it off. Well, the New Year's, out of all times, the New Year's 
is probably the biggest and most important time for me. I always feel like I've lost like 10 pounds after I do it. You just feel like the weight is lifted off of you. And I know that sounds kind of weird. I'm not saying that I'm like a woolly mammoth um, when I get waxed and that's why I feel 10 pounds lighter, but you literally just feel clean and fresh and you're just energetic and you're ready to, you know, take on anything, to do anything because you just feel cleaner. Something as simple as your arms, your legs, even if you're not wearing um, a skirt, if you're just wearing pants, going that little step to just shave your legs or to wax them or, you know, laser, whatever it is that you have done will make you feel so much better. I promise you just give it a shot this year and you will feel so great entering into the new year. <sighs> I am so guilty of this. My husband actually just teamed up with my friend and booked an appointment with for me without me knowing to cut my hair. I have literally, I probably, this is the worst thing to tell you guys, but I probably have not cut my hair for like a year. But I, I do treatments to it and the ends are not split or anything like that. Um, I just, it's not that I don't want to cut my hair, I don't have time, I just don't. I make excuses because for my body shape, I think the long hair suits me better and although my husband feels that um, it would look better if it was like, you know, yay. I, d I don't agree, it probably would look better, but I just personally don't like to cut my hair. But after a long year of damages to my hair, whether it's straightening it, curling it, um, whatever, I, you know, it's time for, um, if, if there's ever a time for me to get my hair done, cut, styled, whatever, New Year's is definitely the time. I Again, I just wanna cut all the dead ends off, cut those ties from, you know, unhealthy hair. I just want to enter into the new year feeling new and whether that's a new hairstyle for me because everybody's used to seeing me all year with the long hair um, it's just something different and I'm not changing who I am to enter the new year but I'm just letting go of you know things like dead ends and whatever that may symbolize to me I'm letting those people and those things go The holidays are probably one of the busiest times to get your nails done whether it's Valentine's Day um, Easter Christmas Eid. Seems like everybody um, that has a party or an event that's coming up will always go and have their nails done during a holiday. So if there's ever a special time for you to get your nails done, it's New Year's. I like to paint my nail myself. I have a whole wall full of nail polishes in the back there, but something is different about New Year's. You want to have somebody else do it for you, not for the sake of just pampering yourself, but you want to make sure that all the cuticles around your fingernails, your uh, your toenails, even if you're not wearing open toe shoes, it's still nice to have the dead skin removed, the your nail beds cleaned up. And then of course to have somebody apply the nail polish for you so there's no bumps or chips, because that to me, like if I had a bubble, I, it would symbolize there's going to be like a little bump in the road somewhere in this future year coming up in 2015 for me so i can't have that happening so um if there's ever a time to have your nails done professionally go out and splurge for new year's because you will notice a huge difference in just how you feel right you're not sitting there all day like watching movies waiting for your nails to dry for me removing the calluses at the bottom of your feet or the cuticles around your nails like all that roughness is kind of like symbolizes letting go of anything rough in your life like all of the um the rough year basically you're leaving it behind you so by shedding that skin by getting rid of the cuticles you're basically giving yourself a chance to start fresh again you, i can't stress it enough you want to start fresh and everything you do should be a reflection of that this is something that i do for myself and usually within the last couple days leading up to new year's i like to give myself just like a home facial i don't go out to a, um, a spa or anything to do it because i have very sensitive skin and I know what I like on my skin and I don't need any kind of procedures that will tighten my skin or do anything that they promise you know and then New Year's is not the time to try something different because if you have any problems like if you break out or anything like that then you're stuck looking like that for New Year's so um, you don't want to you don't want to do that but if you know something as simple as just tea bags on your eyes um, moisturizing your whole body giving yourself a nice scrub in the shower to release any dead skin cells um, and then moisturizing afterwards, things like that. I just like to give my body a full body pamper. Can we be serious for a second? 
You probably didn't lose that 10 to 15 pounds that you said you would buy Christmas so you can fit into a fancy dress to show all your coworkers or your friends and family. Uh, in fact, you've probably put on an extra 10 to 15 pounds on top of the 10 to 15 that you meant to lose. And by you, I'm talking about myself. Um, so now is not the time. New Year's is definitely not going to be the time for you to start your diet. Your diet can start literally January 1st. And for me, um, one of the most important things is I don't restrict myself because you're out, you're having a good time, and whether, you know, if you're wearing a dress that you, if you eat a grape, you're going to explode out of, you probably chose the wrong dress to be wearing for New Year's. So, um, I just like to indulge, not indulge, like overdo it, but I will have a few pieces of this and that and like get my fill of things. And the funny thing is I always, during this time of the year, like most people, will eat like all the bad stuff. So I'll head straight for like the cheese platters. Um, I'm not a dessert person, but I will eat like seconds of main dishes just because I'm like oh yum food I can't cook this so I'll eat it um, I just like to indulge so by doing that the funny thing is the minute the new year starts I'm so exhausted from eating crap food for the past two weeks that you're almost more likely to reach for a salad because you're like I'm so tired of breaded gross food that I just want to eat something healthy more fruits more vegetables I want to start juicing I you know to take a juice to work so that always helps me kickstart in the new year and you know hopefully this year I'd be able to keep um, my plans of trying to lose weight. That's basically it guys. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have an amazing New Year's. If you guys want to leave a comment down below telling me what traditions or superstitions that you do before New Year's, how you get ready, how you like to enter the year, please leave a comment down below. I'm always looking for more crazy things to do to add to my list um, before New Year's, and I would love to hear everything you guys do. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you all so much. Thank you for being so supportive and sticking with me for the past year. I know it's been a slow comeback, but I hope to be here um, a lot more permanent come 2020. 15 that's going to be one of my resolutions and um yeah i'm so lucky to have you guys and very very grateful to have everybody every single one of you 7,000 people that have been watching me and it doesn't seem like a lot to some youtubers because i know they've got millions but to me 7,000 is insane and i'm hoping we can double that by new year's next year i just want to wish everybody a happy 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 new year's and i can't wait to see you all in 2015 be safe be responsible and uh Let's go out with a bang this year. Bye, guys.